Our lead story tonight. Tragically, 11 people have been killed in Dantewada in Chhattisgarh. Of uh, them, 10 were state police jawans. The driver of the rented van they were in were also killed. The policemen were returning from an anti-Naxal operation when this IED, an explosive device of 50 kilos, went off, leaving this huge crater. The Home Minister, uh, Mr. Amit Shah, spoke to Chief Minister Bagheel, assuring all help. Anurag has the latest details. Anurag, what exactly happened? Because you, this comes at a time when Naxal violence, explosions like this have drastically come down. Then how did this happen? See, Sonia, this is the period of TCOC, that is Tactical Counter Offensive Campaign by the Naxals. And uh, acting on a tip off uh, that uh, the presence of Maoist in Aranpur area, a team of the DRG, that is District Reserve Guard of the Chhattisgarh Police, they left for anti, uh, anti national operations there in Aranpur. But now there are three or four questions, and this is what I have gathered from, uh, after speaking to the top police officials that why there was no road opening party. Second, the uh, spot, uh, you know, 100 meters away from the spot, the locals were celebrating Ama Pandum. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a local festival where the kids from the villages, they ask for money from the passerby. Mm -hmm. So, usually in this uh, route, uh, 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 the security forces travel on a much higher speed, but they slowed down and now uh, questions are being raised whether uh, it, it, it was a ploy by the Naxals, you know, to slow down the uh, DRG personnel. And they have used around 50 kgs of explosives and that's why uh, the, the dead bodies were thrown around 150 meters away from there and uh, even the uh, remains of the vehicle was thrown away uh, around 100, 100 meters away from that particular With spot. The force of that so, explosion, uh, yes. Uh, and yes, yes. And uh, usually, what happens? These uh, DRGs are surrendered Naxals or the local people. Mm -hmm. So usually, earlier they used to travel on foot or on motorcycle. But now, uh, uh, from the past few months, they have started traveling in four wheelers, and that's why it's much easier for the Naxals to attack them because they know the terrain, these uh, DRG people, they know the terrain, uh, they know the ge uh, geography, they know the language, they know the people mm -hmm. and, don't, uh, and they know how the Naxals operate. So for me also it's like uh, 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 a big question on the security establishment there that how DRG people who are known for, uh, you know, who know the tactics of the Naxals, they came under attack by the Naxals in Aranpur and few months, a uh, few years back, if you remember, uh, near uh, uh, Nayanar yes, no. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the BJP, lone BJP legislator was also attacked and a uh, crew from the Doordarshan was also attacked there only. Yes, so extremely shocking, extremely tragic, uh, the lives lost there, 10 of them uh, state police uh, personnel, one of them the driver of that rented van. Let's just look at what exactly happened in that tragic attack today. In a horrific attack, 10 policemen and one civilian driver have been killed in a blast carried out by the Naxals in Chhattisgarh's Datewara around 2 p.m. this afternoon. The District Reserve Guards team was returning to the district headquarters in a private minivan from Aranpur. The third of the five convoy vehicle was the one that was targeted. As per sources, an IED was planted by the Naxals. This was a powerful 50 kg improvised explosive device that left a massive hole on the road and uprooted trees. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Bagel said that the state's fight against Naxals was in the final stages and also said that the Naxals will not be spared. जो ये लड़ाई है वो अंतिम दौर पे चल रहा है और नक्सलियों को किसी सूरत में छोड़ा नहीं जाएगा और निश्चित रूप से उस योजना बद्ध ढंग से बना के ये नक्सलवाद को ही समाप्त करेंगे। अलग-अलग वाहनों की सहायता से जब ये डीआरजी जवान लौट रहे थे तो अरनपुर थाना क्षेत्र के अंतर्गत यहाँ पहुँचे हुए थे अरनपुर का ही ये इलाका है और इस सड़क में जैसे ही उनकी गाड़ी यहाँ पर पहुँची माओवादियों ने पहले से यहाँ पर बारूदी सुरंग प्लांट कर रखा था और जैसी गाड़ी यहाँ पर पहुँची तत्काल उन्होंने ब्लास्ट कर दिया 
Since 2010, there have been major attacks every few years by Naxals in Chhattisgarh. On 21st June in 2022, three CRPF Jawans were killed in a Naxal attack at the Chhattisgarh Urisha border. On the 4th of April in 2021, 22 security personnel were killed in Sukma. In March, the year before that, 17 security personnel and 8 DRG men were killed in Sukma. In April 2017, 24 CRPF men were killed in Sukma in an attack on the patrol party. In May 2013, 25 Congress leaders, including the state chief, were killed. In April 2010, 76 CRPF men were killed in a Naxal ambush. While the Union Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, spoke to the State Chief Minister, Mr. Bhupesh Baghel, and took stock of the situation and assured all sorts of help. But the main question remains that would enough be done so that future incidents like this can be prevented. In New Delhi, with camera person Rakesh, this is Neeta Sharma reporting for NDTV. Our sincere condolences to the families of those killed in that attack by Naxals today. The other big headline, well, India has said no to a bilateral meeting with Pakistan's Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, who will be attending the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meet next week. The SEO Foreign Minister's meet will be held in Goa on the 4th and 5th of May. Pakistan had made a formal request to which India has said no. Meanwhile, China's Defense Minister General Li Shangfu will be in India in the next 24 hours. This is the first visit of a Chinese Defense Minister to India since the Galwan clashes of 2020. As we said, that this uh, defense minister will hold bilateral talks with the Chinese. Uh, where India's defense minister, Rajnath Singh, will hold talks with China's defense minister as a bilateral meeting, as India has rejected Pakistan's request, meanwhile, for a meeting between India's foreign minister and Pakistan's foreign minister. India has stressed that the SCO will focus on sovereignty and integrity of all member nations. Meanwhile, China's Xi Jinping has called Ukraine's president amid pressure to end the war. This is the first time that China's President Xi has spoken to Ukraine Zelensky after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This, of course, has been despite the fact that China's President Xi has met Putin a number of times. So it's very interesting to see now that China's Xi reaching out to Zelensky this coming after the recent visits also to Beijing by France's President Macron. The other big headline tonight, the cabinet has announced that 157 new nursing colleges will be set up in the next two years. The new nursing colleges will be attached to current medical colleges. With that two-year deadline, the government says 15,700 nurses will graduate every year. Also, a new medical devices policy has been cleared. न्यू गवर्नमेंट नर्सिंग कॉलेज खोलने के लिए एक नर्सिंग कॉलेज के लिए जहां मेडिकल कॉलेज है वहां ही 10 करोड़ रुपया के सहयोग से एक नर्सिंग कॉलेज बनाई जाएगी Meanwhile, the other big news, uh, the petitioners in the same sex marriage petition have finished the arguments and today it was the center's turn with the centre asking that marriage, the issue of same-sex marriage, be left to Parliament. This coming, of course, as 400 parents of uh, children of who are LGBTQ have written to the Chief Justice asking them to consider the plea for marriage equality. Here are the main arguments today. These judgments which you have cited on the limits of judicial power, that principle of law is well settled. I mean, there's no question about it. But if you are relying on Dobbs to support that principle, then we have gone far beyond Dobbs in India. I know, Malod. I know. I am going to Dobbs, say your lordship. Yes. Dobbs represent a, represents a view of the American Supreme Court that a woman has no bodily control over her own over her own bodily integrity. I'm I'm not. A... This this theory has been debunked long back in our country. Right to marry does not include right to compel the state to create a new definition of marriage. Parliament can do. But it's not an absolute right. Lord, mere declaration that they have a right would be Lord, begging the question. If they have a right, how the rights would be regulated? How variety of problems will be solved? 
and I'll, I'll give examples, Malod, which only Parliament can take care of. Malod, the very heart of Special Marriage Act, and I'll, I'll show that, is a recognition of marriage between a conventional man and a conventional woman. The request ultimately is that you please rewrite to suit our situation, which can be done by the Parliament. I'm not, Malod, opposed to the situation or some regulation coming into place. The main arguments there today. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister today went to Punjab to personally pay tribute to political stalwart and longtime BGP ally Prakash Singh Badal, the end of an era. Minister Narendra Modi paying his last respects to Prakash Singh Badal. Though now at the other end of the political spectrum, after the Akali Dal broke ties with the NDA, the Prime Minister shared a warm relationship with Mr. Badal. People thronged the Akali Dal headquarters to pay their last respects to the five-time Chief Minister of Punjab, who started his career as a Sarpanch and became the youngest MLA at 25. He was a titan in the politics of Punjab. Always accessible to people, he preferred to stay at the home of party workers rather than in government inspection bungalows or circuit houses, probably a key to his success and popularity. Badal's legacy in making breakthrough alliances to bring the Shiromani Akali Dal at the center of the political space will be remembered. बहुत ही कदावर लीडर थे हिंदुस्तान में बल्कि मैं तो यह कहूंगा कि इसके बराबर कोई लीडर नहीं था और इन्होंने जो मुल्क के लिए कुर्बानियां दी हैं वो कोई भूल नहीं सकता गरीब के लिए किसान के लिए हमेशा आवाज उठाते रहे एक युग का आज अंत हुआ है हिज लास्ट इलेक्शन इन 2022 एट द एज ऑफ 94 व्हेन ही फॉट because his party wanted him to take on the challenge of new entrants up. The party was hoping his face would help them beat the magic of up. But that was not to be and Badal accepted the defeat with folded hands. Prakar Singh Badal's funeral will be held in his ancestral village of Badal in Muktsar district on Thursday. A two-day mourning across India has been declared by the centre to mourn Prakash Singh Badal's death. Meanwhile, in other news, the Bihar government is facing a huge backlash for its decision to change prison rules, allowing the release of convicted Don Anand Mohan Singh, who had been given life in prison for the murder of an IS officer. Today, NDTV spoke to the driver of that IS officer who barely escaped with his life when they were attacked by a mob led by Anand Mohan. Here's what he said on the release of Anand Mohan walking free tomorrow. I <laughs> बॉडीगार्ड को खींच लिया लोग बॉडीगार्ड को खींच लिया अच्छा जी हां उसका वाला गाड़ी पर हाथ हो तो सब चलाना शुरू कर देता हूं साहब को लेकर भाग गए हां साहब को भीड़ में से गाड़ी निकाल लिए हम साहब के साथ में हां आप आप साहब को लेकर गाड़ी में निकल लिया गए जी 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 ठीक है जी जी बॉडीगार्ड छूट गया था हां बॉडीगार्ड खींचा गया तो छूट गया हां तो फिर आगे भीड़ में से गाड़ी निकाल लेते साहब गाड़ी रुकवा दिए हां हम गाड़ी नहीं रोक रहे थे साहब गाड़ी रुकवा दिए साहब गाड़ी क्यों रुकवाए पता नहीं अब कहां कहां रुकवा दे के बुढ़गा छूट गया था उसके चलते हां हां तो गाड़ी रुकवा दिए हां गाड़ी नहीं रोक रहे थे हां और फिर आगे पीछे सब भीड़ घेर लिया ओहो और फिर क्या हुआ फिर का हुआ बस साहब को उधर हमको गाड़ी में गर्दन में सब दाब दिया था 
आपकी गर्दन आपकी गर्दन स्टेरिंग में ऐसे करके दबा दिया था जी 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 और साहब को निकाला पीछे से गाड़ी से जी जी और फिर उसके बाद अब उसके बाद क्या वो हमारा गर्दन और साहब दो तीन फाइट मारा लो कान पर मारा लो कान पर चोट वोट लगा तो कौन सुनाई देना हुआ अभी भी कौन सुनाई देता है अच्छा माफी चाहूंगी मैं नहीं आपके सामने उसके बाद क्या हुआ कृष्णैया कृष्णैया साहब के साथ क्या हुआ उसके बाद अब तो साहब को उधर खींच लो हम लोग सब माने तीनों आदमी तीन खल के हो गए अच्छा अच्छा साहब किधर है हम किधर हमको मारना शुरू किया तो हम लोग रोड के ऊपर भागे साहब उधर भागे उसके बाद आगे भागे भागते गए हम फिर उधर से लौट के आए तो देखे गाड़ी उल्टा हुआ है भीड़ मन चल गया था लौट के आए तो गाड़ी उल्टा हुआ है उसके बाद साहब को देखे की खाई में नीचे पड़े हुए अच्छा आपने देखा कि साहब खाई में नीचे पड़े हुए हैं आपने को आप गए उनके पास कोई किसी आपने अपने आंख से किसी को देखा था वहाँ पे नहीं आपको नहीं। मारते हुए ऐसा कुछ नहीं 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 मैंने किसी को देखा नहीं अच्छा और आप आप जब आए आपने जब साहब को देखा नीचे खाई में तो आप गए उनके पास आपने क्या साहब नहीं गाड़ी बी एस पी की गाड़ी आ रहा था वो जुलूस की तरफ जा रहा था तो गाड़ी को रुकवाए उसको बोले कि सर हमारे गोपाल जी का है हाँ। वही गाड़ी पर लाद के हॉस्पिटल लेके गए The tragic recounting of events there by the driver of the murdered IS officer, who said that in fact the IS officer actually stopped the car to see what had happened to the bodyguard to try and save him, and that's perhaps what led to the loss of his life. The other headline, well, coming from Tamil Nadu, where the controversy over leaked audio clips, allegedly the BJP says of the Tamil Nadu finance minister, is continuing with the BJP releasing another audio clip, which they claim is of the finance minister attacking Stalin, the chief minister's family. However, the finance minister countered that, in fact, using an NDTV report to prove that how deep fake audio can so easily be manipulated. The BJP says we'll prove it. The ruling party in Tamil Nadu, the DMK, is facing perhaps its worst crisis in its second year. On one hand, these audio recordings released by the state BJP chief allegedly show the finance minister exposing the corruption by his boss, the chief minister, and his family members. On the other, the income tax department is searching for the third day a realty firm reported to have connections with the chief minister's family. Today, the finance minister, known as PTR, flanked by a picture of the chief minister, released a new video in his defense, alleging the two audio clips are deep fakes. It included an NDTV report on how deep fakes work. This is Manoj Tiwari in English, making a similar appeal. Yes, Sri Ram. Greetings to all. Except there is a catch. As Vice News reported, these are deep fakes. So they are indulging in using advanced technologies and cheap tactics such as releasing these fabricated audios to disrupt our good work. There is a desperate attempt by a blackmail gang to achieve their political ambitions by creating a rift within us. Such cowardly attempts will never succeed. Tamil Nadu BJP President Annamalai alleges the DMK is crumbling within and this purported audio substantiates his claim of huge corruption in the state. But whatever stated by PTR is not new, which is known. And that family which runs the party as a dynast is known to swindle public money for the family benefits. Sources say that there are at least three more audio clips with Tamil Nadu BJP which the party is planning to make it public in due course. ADMK has also moved CBI seeking an investigation into the audio clips and also its contents. Sensing that the party is losing the perception battle, DMK Chief MK Stalin met senior ministers of his government over this issue. Sources say very soon there will be many changes in the government, including a cabinet reshuffle. With camera person Javier Thomas, this is Arvind Gunasekhar from Chennai for NDTV. Well, Tamil Nadu becoming a battleground within the government, but let's move to battleground Karnataka, where the BJP is pulling out all stops. Today, two cabinet ministers, two chief ministers were all out there campaigning for the BJP. Amongst the stars was Uttar Pradesh's chief minister, Yogi Adityanath. दुनिया के अंदर जहां कहीं भी 
भारत का नागरिक जाता है आज वो सम्मान की दृष्टि से देखा जाता है आज भारत दुनिया की एक ताकत बन रहा है आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव वर्ष में जिस ब्रिटेन ने भारत को 200 वर्षों तक शासन किया था आपने देखा होगा उस ब्रिटेन को पिछाड़ करके भारत आज दुनिया की पांचवी बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्था बना है पांचवी बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्था बना है आज आपने देखा होगा कांग्रेस विकास की बात करती है विकास की बातें करती है बड़ी बड़ी बड़े बड़े दावे करते हैं लेकिन विकास की उसकी हकीकत क्या थी पंचवर्षीय योजना एक प्रोजेक्ट बनता था एक पंचवर्षीय योजना लग जाती थी ये कांग्रेस की असलियत थी एंड प्रियंका गांधी वाड्रा लीडिंग द कांग्रेस चार्ज इन कर्नाटका बिसाइड रोड शो शी ऑल्सो ट्राइड हैंड एट मेकिंग दो साइज टूडे इन माई सुरु एंड एट रेस्ट ह्यूज रोड शोज एज वेल साढ़े तीन सालों से जो सरकार कर्नाटका में आई है उसने हर स्तर पर हर स्तर पर आपका विश्वास तोड़ा है कांग्रेस और जेडीयू की सरकार को तोड़ के बनाया वेल नाउ द न्यूज द मार्केट्स गेनिंग फॉर द फिफ्थ डे टू डे द सेंसेक्स अप एट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड द निफ्टी ऑल्सो गेनिंग क्लोजिंग एट सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड थर्टीन consumer durable surged in trade today the rupee strengthening as well hitting a one month high in intraday trade that's because the weakening dollar or de dollarization as i'm is calling it uh, is boosting the rupee in other currencies maruti reported a 42.7% surge in quarter four profits and a strong demand there for cars and higher margins boosting their profits as well and finally well the campaign is in full force in the united states with president joe biden announcing a re-election bid so republicans had their campaign ad against him ready or generated by artificial intelligence take a look at new age campaigning taiwan financial markets are in free fall as 500 regional banks have shuttered their doors border agents were overrun by a surge of 80,000 illegals yesterday evening officials closed the city of san francisco this morning citing the escalating crime and fentanyl crisis who's in charge here it feels like the train is coming off the tracks 